Hey, what's going on YouTube? Got another video for you guys today. And today I'm going to review and install the Kunist Model 3 rain deflector for your frunk. So if you ever notice that your frunk is a little damp or wet or you're getting some excess debris, uh, especially up where the wipers rest, um, this is pretty quick and easy fix um, from what I've read and what I've seen. And uh, I'm going to do a quick review and install today and let you guys know what I think. So, uh, yeah, if you like what you're seeing, hit that like button, consider subscribing. I plan on making a lot more videos, a lot more install, a lot more how-tos, and uh, hope to see you all in the next video. Three pieces that come in the package, uh, I guess just for shipping purposes, it makes it a lot cheaper and easier instead of one piece. So it is three plastic uh, shells, and I'll show you guys real quick. So you can see each piece has the metal clips already pre-installed, and then you have the on each piece either three or four double-sided uh, sticky tape. That's just to adhere it to the upper. Uh, metal portion of the frunk where this is going to go and they are actually nice enough to give you a pry tool as well it's always appreciated probably have about 20 of them or so by now but uh, nevertheless um, so these three pieces will clip together so you could do that before you do the install and then I'll show you before we go over to the frunk you have this rubber channel liner here this is what actually slides into the groove on the three pieces of plastic and that is what makes the tight seal on the front to keep the excess water out. So we'll leave that to the side here. We'll open up the other two pieces. Okay, so it's pretty self-explanatory. If you've ever done like a jigsaw puzzle or anything like that, uh, you can't really form this one, so to speak. Okay, so the, the two pieces are going to line up like that. There's no click or anything. It's just kind of a, a loose fit um, because, as you can see, the clips there and the double-sided tape are what's going to hold this up to the actual frunk. Uh, one other thing that this kit does come with, which is always, again, much appreciated, is extra retention clips. Uh, they do give you two extra ones in case the two that are on there uh, fail. And... Uh, that's always a welcome addition to any extra parts are always a good thing in my mind uh, so so far so good on the on the packaging the build quality uh, this Kunist model 3 rain deflector so far uh, I definitely recommend it uh, now we're gonna go over to the front and uh, work on the install Alright guys, I apologize for the voiceover on the installation part, but I lost the audio in the clip. So, when you're looking at the frunk underside on the actual hood, there are four different um, oval openings, and in each opening there's a rubber grommet that's um, factory installed. So you're going to remove those four grommets, you can see on the left side I already did. On the right side I'm going to use the pry tool that came included with the kit, and there's a, a view of what the grommet looks like you can see it's just uh, pressure fitted in and uh, I definitely save those grommets if you can uh, just in case you decide to remove this at any point you don't want to leave those holes open uh, what I did is I just laid out my three pieces uh, and the way they're gonna go up onto the actual uh, hood itself and uh, there's only one direction that they'll go so you just want to kind of visualize that I did that by laying them across the uh, upper portion of the frunk where the air vent is. So you're going to pry those rubber grommets out using the included pry tool. Just get the flat uh, portion of the pry tool uh, behind that rubber grommet and then just pull downward. They should pop right out. You can go ahead and pick up your three pieces and you can see there's double sided sticky tape on each piece and those metal retaining clips. So those metal retaining clips are going to go into those oval openings 
they should snap in. You should hear a snapping or popping sound when you insert those metal retaining clips. There are four in total. There are two on each end piece. There are none in the center piece. So make sure you're looking at the right pieces when you put them up. They do supply two packages of adhesion promoter. I highly recommend using it. Uh, make sure you do so in a ventilated area. It is pretty potent. Uh, you just want to go over those grommet holes um, and on the uh, exterior areas of those grommet holes because that's where the double-sided sticky tape is going to be adhering to. And you're going to just basically wipe back and forth. You should see a lot of the dirt and debris uh, that's built up even if it's not visible uh, to the naked eye. You should see it on the cloth. What I did was I used one towelette for each side. So uh, it does come with two. I definitely recommend utilizing both, especially if you're installing this in, in a cold day like I did. Uh, you want to get the best adhesion possible uh, with those red, uh, the uh, double sided ticky tape, rather. So just wipe back and forth again. Make sure you go around the two openings. Uh, watch your fingers. I probably should have been using gloves here. Uh, like I said, the, the adhesion promoter is is a chemical. Um, I've used it before, so I, I, I know it doesn't really bother my hands, but you might have a different reaction. So uh, PPE might not be a bad idea here. Eye goggles. All right, so you're going to peel away the sticky tape. There's uh, four pieces on each of the ends, and I believe two in the middle. Uh, you can remove all of the sticky tape. Uh, and expose it all. You don't have to do piece by piece. Uh, you can uh, uh, expose it all. Just make sure it's facing up before you install it. Don't lay it down on the sticky tape and then it'll be stuck to your air vent. Uh, so the pieces don't snap together. They're going to just fit together loosely. Um, I did have a hard time getting this up and holding it in place. Uh, it did fall a few times before I was able to get it to snap in. So my, my tip here is make sure you press and get those pieces snapped in uh, before continuing on to the next section. Uh, you're going to start from the driver side and work your way out. And then lastly, once you have the item affixed to the front, you're going to slide in that rubber seal. It can only be slid in from the driver side. Uh, it might help to wet it a little bit or maybe just spray it down with some uh, like a lubricant, WD-40 or something like that. Uh, just slide it all the way over to the right until it's all the way at the end it's gonna bounce back a little bit that's okay and then you're going to get either a pair of shears or scissors or a straight edge um, and you're gonna go ahead and trim the excess piece off um, I actually used a pair of metal snips it worked perfectly uh, if you have those it works great uh, and there's the excess piece that I cut off and again you're just you want to cover enough where it makes a seal over the air vent portion of the frunk and there's the shears that I used. Uh, it took all together probably, uh, I don't know, maybe seven or eight minutes to get this in. Uh, and just press on each tab with the adhesive uh, for about 15 to 20 seconds just to make sure it's, it's firmly attached. It shouldn't be wobbling or banging around. It should be a nice tight fit, especially with those retention clips. Just make sure everything is pressed in. Give it a uh, fitting. I have a power frunk, um, so I close it on its own, but if you have a manual frunk, it doesn't matter. Just make sure that your frunk closes cleanly. There's no gaps in your panels, other than the factory ones, which sometimes are pretty terrible, but make sure your frunk is seating and locking down. Nothing is ob obstructing the closing mechanism. All right, now time for my final impressions and review. Uh, overall, this is a great product. I definitely recommend it. Uh, you can see we had some uh, rain and snow today here in New Jersey, and the area that the frunk is sealed away from with the new strip is actually bone dry. Uh, nothing got wet on the air intake fin uh, fins, which is typically where it does get wet after heavy rain. We had a lot of wind, uh, a little bit of snow actually last night, so uh, I'm very happy with the way that this kept a lot of the moisture out. You can see the fin um, from opening the trunk is still a little damp, uh, which is that's a good sign. That means it's keeping the water out. Uh, it's been pretty cold here in the low 30s 
for the last two or three days since I installed the item and everything seems to be holding up great. The build quality is good. Um, you can see that the adhesive has really held. Uh, sometimes in the cold it does fail pretty quickly but it did hold up and overall I definitely recommend this product if you're trying to keep out leaves and debris from your air intake. Um, if you ever get that moldy sock smell in your cabin filter, uh, one of the causes is debris getting into the uh, air intake, which is right underneath this cover here. And if you've ever opened this up, you'll know this is a wide open. Um, this is a wide open cavity here that pretty much anything can get into. I'll show you real quick. So that's your air intake, and you see I actually have some leaves in there. I gotta go in there and get them out. Um, but that's one of the main reasons why I installed this product to prevent that from happening going forward. Uh, there are other products that you can put over this uh, intake. Uh, I don't want to restrict any airflow going in. And uh, this seems to have been doing the trick. You can see underneath is, is very dry. In the past, it's gotten wet and dirty. So I definitely recommend the product for the $27 or $28 that it was. Uh, it's definitely worth it. I... I I give it my thumbs up. The install was very simple. Um, just a couple of hiccups. Uh, I wasn't a sling the day I installed it, so uh, I did have a hard time putting up in one piece. Um, but I definitely recommend just following my instructions, and uh, you'll have this in in about 10 minutes. Uh, probably 2 out of 10 difficulty. It looks OEM. It doesn't look like it's aftermarket at all. It's really got a, a nice finish to it. And uh, yeah, it seals up nicely in the trunk, whether you have a power trunk like I do, or you have a manual close. See, it closes pretty nicely. It doesn't push up the trunk at all, and everything stays nice and sealed. And uh, yeah, hope you guys like this video. If you did, like and subscribe. See you in the next one.